KC Zero VII. Uh, you won't believe what we got woke up to this morning. It uh, snowed. It's your typical March heavy, wet snow. Uh, this is from the storm that dumped 12 inches on Denver, and it. Uh, I'd say we got just looking at it right from here. I'd say we're close to four to five. Let's take a peek out the back door. Yeah, as you can see here, my car's covered. The boy kind of parked funny, don't know why. The cruiser is buried. I would say, yeah, we got four to five inches here. We'll have to get out there and uh, see what type of fun we can have. That was 7.6 inches of snow, and when it was melted down, that was 1.3 inches of water content. The uh, All that was shipped off to La Crosse, and they're happy with that. The uh, Lawn tractor with the blower on it was at the uh, garage door. We took that out first. It could do the job of moving the snow, but it was pretty heavy and it was and wet, and we had to work the tractor a little bit. But once we got past the building, we always get a little snow drift that forms along this fence line, and uh, that was just too much for it. Threw the threw the belt off. Got the uh, tractor out with the blade on it, and didn't really check the tire pressure. That cold weather we had in February, back tires got a little uh, deflated, and we threw a tire chain. But once we got it back on, all the tires up to uh, pressure. Got all the snow moved out, so TLJ is happy and she's ready for business on Tuesday. Uh, today we're going to take a look at this Unidyne Bear Tracker 885. Uh, I've had a few people ask about it, uh, mainly on the programming side. Uh, had one guy, actually two guys, talk to me on the radio through the local repeater, and one called, uh, actually not called, one to put a message up on the comment section or the uh, video. Uh, about the 885 and which is the correct way you should ask questions and make comments that way the uh, uh, YouTube software will actually uh, put us out more on suggestions to other uh, viewers so anytime you watch a, a video if you like it make sure you as they say smash that like button or just click the like button put a couple of words down in the comment section and it'll get us out there for more and more um, what we got here uh, the instruction manual, yes, I know it's just another man's opinion, but you got to start somewhere. Uh, Uniden has on their website a little program you download and install on your computer. Uh, it's called BT885 Updater, and the radio comes with a 8 gig, of, uh, 8 gig SD card. You put that in your computer, and you go to launch this little program, and it will find that SD card. It can You can only download the software. We're going to go in here. You can only download the uh, database to the SD card. You can't download it to a hard drive. Uh, Dunedin claims they update this every Monday morning. And each time I go out there and check, yes, it has been updated. So they are keeping the words about that. And I also believe this software database is being used on quite a few different scanners. Once we get into it, I'll show you what we're, we're talking about. It doesn't take that much to uh, time-wise to download this little database considering all the frequencies and we are finished ready right into the SD card and we'll close that out here is the folder and if we take a look at the properties it's only 27 meg big it's not that big and you go and open it you got a lot of these folders are empty um, and even I pulled the SD card out of the radio after we have used it for a while and there's nothing really in these folders so uh, I've just assume that there's other radios that use this database uh, what we want to do is get down here to this HPDP and when you open that up it gives you a whole list of files and what we'll do we'll look at the very first file and that's kind of like the index it starts out with all the states here we got Iowa oops I had Iowa Iowa's state 19 and down here we got Minnesota which is 27 we go down then we get into uh, the provinces of Canada and uh, then we start getting into the counties. Now if we go down to state 19 20 and we look for Mitchell County Madison here's Mitchell County we're actually county ID of 850 state 19 county 850 so what you can do then Let's go down here to 19, state 19, make this a little bigger, and we'll scroll down till we get to county 850. Eight. 
844, 852, 51. Okay, here's 850 Metro County. Um, what we got here, we got a longitude latitude and a circle in 16. What this means that this latitude longitude, it's not the transmitter site. It's actually, if you put it into a mapping software, it actually takes you to the center of Mitchell County. Back up here, here's the Minnesota state line. Uh, the county runs just by Riceville, just below Highway 9 a little bit, and um, just almost to Grafton, somewhere in here is where we split off. So that's actually the center of the county. And if you take a look at Riceville and Osage, it actually puts you in the center of each town. That doesn't really tell you where the transmitter is located. It just says, okay, Mitchell County, the center of Mitchell County is here. If you're within 16 miles of this point, the scanner will actually open up these channels so you can listen to. Or in Osage, we got some public works office. Osage, if you're within three miles of Osage. In Riceville, if you're within five miles of these, this location, it will open it up. Well, a couple things we can do is you can actually take this number 16, and what I did, I went through the whole state for Iowa, changed that to 100 on all these. Then you just go up here and hit save. Oops, file and save, and that's it. Now the other thing that's important is this designator right here. For EMS, and we got fire and road, this radio is only made to pick up four different identifications, identifiers. A number two is police department, sheriff's departments. Number three is our fire. Four is EMS, and 14 is road department. So if you will scroll down here to another county, to two, three, and if we come across like a tactical team, okay, here we got here, uh, fire grounds is an eight. Well, this won't pick it up. You can actually go in and change this, say to a three, and save it. So that way, if there's ever a call, any traffic on this frequency, they'll go show up as a fire on your on the faceplate of the scanner. Same way as he come across a tactical. Here we got Sheriff's op, Ops 1, which is a 7. We could actually change that to 2, save it, and that'll take it um, as it comes into a, a police or sheriff's department. So then if you scroll down here more towards the bottom, the top here was the uh, old analog that we get down here. This is the trunking system. Again, here's the location of probably Des Moines. It's set for 25. I go through and change all these to 100 and save it, and we're all set to go. It took about 15, 20 minutes to do each state, and I just do Iowa and Minnesota. I take a look at the surrounding counties, check those designators, make sure if there's any traffic on there that I'd like to you know, listen to. I change that to a 2 or a 3. I try to keep 14 open. Um, we're getting a lot of birdies, uh, false data or false calls on the, on the DOT channels, and I think what's happening, a lot of the DOT departments are using that to ship data um, to and from in the county. So once you get this all done, save it. Do a quick save. We'll close that out. And you can do the same thing we said, what, 20, no, not 25, 27 with Minnesota. I go through to do the same thing. You can do that for the, the state you're in. This just kind of makes the scanner a little more useful. And save it what i do i make a co copy of that off the, the the drive i just do a quick copy move that over to a, a, i got a folder eh, where's my radio folder we get over here and unit in bt88 and i just store it here and i always put a date on it so i know you know i have an idea when the, this file was created or modified so then you just pop out the sd card put it in the um, radio turn it on and you're scanning Real simple, real nice little rig. Um, probably end up getting a couple more for the other vehicles around here. Okay, now we're going to program the Uniden BCD325P2 scanner. That's a mouthful. Uh, get your owner's manual out. And in there, there's an address at the Uniden's website. And so you can download their software called FreeScan. We'll make it large scale here. Um, you can start out. We'll create a new system. You just type a new system. Then you can select the different types. We'll go P25 Digital G2. Then we'll say name the site. We'll just say Tom. And we'll click Create System. Then you can add 
your tower sites to this and you know this is pre-filled in and you can just go through and you can change the site's name you can add up the, the trunk frequency to get the information I use a website called radio reference we talked about this before it's got a nice little website and you can donate money to it get a subscription service or be a member you go to database go down to frequency database and it pops up a map of the US the green states are states that have been updated in the last 24 hours the yellow states in the last week and the grays have been updated over a week so we'll just go to Iowa and it gives you a state map you can select which county if one of these counties has been updated it'll be the same color as the first map what I do since I'm mainly looking for the P25 phase 2 phase 1 systems down here there's a link for the Iowa statewide interoperable communication system you click that and it'll open up a, kind of like a spreadsheet of the towns the counties and the channel numbers for uh, the frequency for those numbers it is listed by order by the site number but if you go up here and click county it will relay those out in alphabetical order for the county so we'll scroll down one thing I noticed there is a statewide mobile site here okay we got the current code plug loaded up as you can see we have the aircraft unicoms the analog VHF UHF for Iowa it's for any counties along with our Minnesota trunking system and our digital trunking system for the uh, Iowa and what we'll do we'll add a new site we selected our Iowa new site and we'll label this over here it was labeled statewide if I remember correctly and we'll just add in statewide then we'll get over here and here we go and it's got one two three four channels so we select over here one two three four this is what I do um, I can do this faster than trying to uh, figure out how to download the database file. Just like that, copy, come over here, paste it, grab the next number. Now you notice in this spreadsheet website, there are different colors. In the old scanners, you had to put in the data channels first, then the analog channels, or they had a, those data channels had to be at a certain location for your site, lo your site system. Uh, these newer scanners you don't need to worry about that so it's just a matter of copying and pasting or inputting in the uh, the correct information that's the important part getting it corrected i was always keen at it wrong either transposing or losing a number that's why i prefer the copy paste method the blues are your primary data channels and the red is your backup data channel so over here we got the statewide channels in we'll go up here save it and the radio is we'll turn on the radio the computer beeped it recognized it uh, what I like to do we'll close this up kind of keep the page less noisy um, over control scanner we can do a com port test and see what we got we got com1 and com8 I believe this yep this is on com8 com1 is a standard serial port out of the computer for some other scanners go over here and we'll upload it I like to erase all the system settings and put in fresh make sure we select everything and we'll start our upload that way I know all the data that's in the scanner is fresh it doesn't take that much time to get it all going and we got the aircraft done we're working on the analog systems now we're down to the Iowa trunking getting into the Minnesota trunking There we go. Now the scanner is back, local control, and it is working. We'll close this out. Make sure we save that. Close that up. Again, very easy radio to program up with the Uniden software. Um, I know there's other software packages out there. You can do more stuff. But again, if you have never been to Radio Reference, stop there, take a look at it. It's a real nice little website. On that, 73 everybody. Have a safe spring. Be sure you tell your friends, neighbors, other hams. Subscribe, hit that bell to get notification when new videos come out. Add comments below. 7-3 everybody.